Hey foodies, it's your pal, Cheeseburger, back at it again with another vlog. Today is going to be a bit more serious. I'm going to be sacrificing myself and going through a digestive system just to show y'all the dangers of being eaten. Wish me luck. First up, mastication, aka chewing. Ugh, I hate teeth. The worst part of it, the saliva. Once we start mastication, the salivary glands are triggered to release saliva. Saliva is a mixture of water, mucus, salts, and amylase. Ow, my buns. I forgot that amylase breaks down carbohydrates, aka starches in my buns. It's gonna lubricate me and compress me so I can easily slide down the esophagus and into the stomach. This is the best part. The esophagus is legit a, just a big old slippy slide into the stomach. The esophagus is 10 inches long, which is a lot for a little cheeseburger like me. And it starts in the mouth and goes all the way down to the stomach. The whole way down, I'm being squeezed and pushed and moved all the way down, which is actually called peristalsis. It's a long way down, but I know when I reach the stomach because I'll see the cardiac sphincter, a ring like muscular valve that keeps me in the stomach once I get there. Oh, I found a pool, except this pool isn't water, it's gastric juices. While we hang out, out in here, the protein digestion begins. The pepsin enzyme in here are going to start breaking down the proteins in my patty. I'll be soaking in here for about two to three hours before I'm ready to leave. At this point, I'll be a mixture of gastric ju juices and me, oh, just call me Kai. I'll be moving into the small intestine through the pyloric sphincter, which only lets in a little bit of food at a time to make sure everything gets absorbed nicely. Here in the small intestine, I have to go through the duodenum, jejunum, and ileum. This totals up to 20 feet of intestine. There's a bunch of enzymes in here, like proteases, which break down amino acids, lipases, which break down fats, and disaccharidases. Let's chat about the absorption of nutrients for a second. First, what are nutrients? There are two types, water-soluble and fat-soluble. Water-soluble nutrients include protein, carbs, minerals, most vitamins, and water. These will be absorbed into the blood through capillaries in the villi and carried to the liver. The fat-soluble nutrients include some vitamins and fats, which are absorbed into the lymphatic system through lacteals in the villi. Passing through the walls here are the nutrients, and all the nutrients are going to either the circulatory or lymphatic systems. And they'll be getting through the bloodstream thanks to our pal Osmosis Jones. To help with this, the intestine has a bunch of little folds on its walls called villi. And those folds have two smaller folds of them called microvilli. Each microvilius is specifically designed to aid in the digestion of one particular nutrient. Since I'll be in here for a little Five to 14 hours, let's talk about some other hot sweats in the body. The pancreas. This is a gland behind the stomach that controls the environment. It secretes bicarbonate, which neutralizes the hydrochloric acid from the stomach. Next up is the liver. This is the large gland sitting above the stomach, which produces bile. Bile also aids in the digestion of fats. The gallbladder stores all of this bile, and eventually it will be secreted into the small intestine. Finally, after such a long trip through the small intestine, we made it to the large intestine. This is 3.5 feet long in the body. I, the kind, will be hanging out in here for about one to three days before I eventually get evicted. All of my water will be absorbed through the colon walls. My fiber will be broken down and some vitamins will be made. After spending some time here, I'll become feces. I'm a mix of mucus, bile, fiber, cells, and water. I'll be collected at the end of the large intestine, aka the rectum. I'll go ahead and end it here to keep it family friendly. See y'all next time, foodies. Stay hungry.